Welcome back to Running Shoes Guru. My name is Brandon and today I'm reviewing the A6 Magic Speed 2. The Magic Speed was designed to be the training companion of the flagship Metaspeed Racing Series. And version 1 of this shoe was a big disappointment because it had a firm, flat ride and it felt nothing like the Metaspeed Sky and Metaspeed Edge. I didn't put much mileage onto my pair because I felt like it lacked cushioning for long runs and it wasn't fast enough for tempo runs. It had a really comfortable upper and a durable outsole but it wasn't deserving of its $150 price tag. I think A6 knew that version 1 was a miss because they've completely redesigned version 2. It features a brand new foam in FF Blast Plus and it also has a longer, stiffer plate. It has a design now which is very similar to the Metaspeed series. It weighs 8.1 ounces or 234 grams and that's a slight increase over version 1 which came in at 7.9 ounces or 229 grams. It's got a thicker midsole stack height in both the heel and the forefoot and it keeps its $150 price tag which is great value for money and it makes it one of the cheapest carbon plated trainers on the market. My first run was a 30 km long run and it felt great right out of the box. I was surprised how firm the midsole felt considering it's FF Blast Plus. This is the firmest version of FF Blast Plus that I've felt to date. It felt more like a long distance and speed shoe compared to its predecessor which was unforgiving and not suited to long distances. The higher stack height made it the long run feel comfortable although it didn't feel as plush as some of the other carbon plates of trainers and racers. Stability was good and the stiff forefoot combined with the high toe spring made it feel more efficient than a regular daily trainer. I enjoyed that long run but I felt like it was more suited to tempo runs and interval workouts because of how firm the ride was. The Magic Speed 2 has a brand new full length carbon TPU plate sandwiched in its midsole and it makes the ride feel a lot more consistent than the first version which only had a 3 quarter length plate situated in its midfoot and in its forefoot. The ride feels much faster now thanks to its stiffer forefoot and its higher toe spring which produces a forward rolling sensation that the first version didn't have. I enjoy this shoe for tempo runs and interval workouts because its firm ride makes it really easy to increase my speed. It's also got an 8mm drop now which makes it easier to transition through my gait cycle. I still feel that the Magic Speed 2 is missing some bounce and energy return. Its ride feels a lot flatter than say the Endorphin Speed 3 and the Razer XS2 which use much more exciting, more lively foams. Here in this midsole, the FF Blast Plus feels very dense and very ordinary. It has a dual foam setup with FF Blast Plus on the top layer and a firmer, more durable layer on the bottom for extra stability. You can use the Magic Speed 2 as a half marathon or a full marathon racing shoe if you like a firm ride. It's got enough cushioning depth for long distances, so this makes it a good budget race day option. The outsole design looks identical to the Metaspeed Sky Plus and the Edge Plus. Rubber placement is brilliant and this exposed midsole foam is really durable so it doesn't show any scuffs or abrasions in this first 80 kilometers. Traction is also very good in wet conditions. The Magic Speed 2's upper is really comfortable, breathable and it provides a secure lockdown. There's enough padding in the heel and collar area to prevent hot spots and the gusseted tongue is flat, it doesn't slide sideways but it does slide downwards slightly during runs but it didn't bother me too much. The laces on the Magic Speed 2 are the same laces that are found on the Metaspeed Sky 1. They are really soft and they fray easily so they definitely don't belong on a $150 shoe. 
The other downside of the upper is that it runs short, so I had to go up a half size. But going up a half size, the sizing was perfect. The Magic Speed 2 is a big improvement over the original Magic Speed. It's got a thicker midsole now with deeper cushioning and its ride is a lot more similar to the more expensive Metaspeed series thanks to the new full-length carbon TPU plate. I think that runners who are looking for a budget racing shoe and are not willing to shell out 250 US dollars for the Metaspeed series will be satisfied with the Magic Speed 2. It doesn't match the top tier super shoes in terms of energy return or propulsion but it does feel a lot faster than a normal daily trainer or a non-plated speed shoe. I also think that runners who already have the Metaspeed Sky Plus or Edge Plus and are looking for a training companion will be very happy with the Magic Speed 2 because it's got a higher level of durability, it won't break the bank and it's got a much higher level of stability due to its firm ride. Compared to the other plates of trainers, the Magic Speed 2 doesn't really do much to stand out from the crowd. Its midsole is now as stiff as the Boston 11 and the Zoomfly 5, but its midsole foam still lacks energy return and liveliness compared to the Endorphin Speed 3 with a Piba midsole. The Magic Speed 2 does have the most durable outsole of the bunch, and when it comes to price, it undercuts the other plates of trainers by around 10 to 50 US dollars, which makes it excellent value for money. If you're a Magic Speed fan, let us know if you are happy with this update down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and please remember to like the video and subscribe to Running Shoes Guru.